Russian military bombed territory of Russia at least 75 times in last three months. Over the last three months, at least 75 times, the Russian Aerospace Forces allegedly accidentally bombed the Belgorod region and the occupied Ukrainian territories, according to the Astra Telegram channel. According to Astra, on May the 29th, 1.5 kilometers from the village of Nechayevka, an FAB was found after another emergency descent from a Russian Aerospace Forces aircraft. Another FAB was found two kilometers from the village of Vehilevka. According to the channel, there were no casualties and no evacuation was carried out. Thus, Astra writes, over the past three months, the Russian armed forces dropped 75 aviation bombs on the Belgorod region and the occupied territories. Among them is the smart bomb UMBPD-30SN, which did not reach Kharkiv on May the 24th. It fell three kilometers from the village of Krutoy Log in the Belgorod region on March the 27th. According to the deputy chief of the national police in the Kharkiv region, Serhii Bolvinov, Russia struck Kharkiv for the first time with a UMBP D-30SN bomb. According to Bolvinov, Kharkiv was hit by aerial bombs for the first time since 2022. The Shev Chenkivsky district was targeted. According to verified information, the enemy used a cheap analogue of a cruise missile. This is a UMBP D-30SN based on the FAB-250. There are two hits. The first shot a secondary school. The second hit residential buildings directly, reported the police officer. At present, Russia conducted an array of aerial attacks on Ukraine with cruise missiles, drones and ballistic missiles, Ukraine's Air Force said, while the chief of the army said Russia is increasing its troop concentration in the Kharkiv region, where Moscow's forces have made significant advances in a spring offensive. One person has died. Another is missing and seven others were injured after an explosion rocked downtown Youngstown in Ohio on Tuesday afternoon, officials said. The explosion occurred near the Central Square at the Realty Building on East Federal Street. The building houses a Chase Bank at the bottom and apartments up top. The area was evacuated after the explosion. The cause of fire is unknown and police are urging residents to avoid the area. Youngstown Fire Chief Barry Finley had initially characterized the incident as a natural gas explosion, but later said crews were working to determine if there was a gas leak. Seven people were hospitalized after the fire, one of them in a critical condition. The body of the 27-year-old man who was an employee of the bank was pulled from the site early Wednesday morning, the fire chief said. One woman is still missing after the incident. However, her car isn't at the scene and she hasn't been identified at any hospitals in the area, so crews no longer believe she was at the building when the explosion happened, Youngstown Fire Chief Barry Finley said. Youngstown Police said, the situation is being actively managed. Structural engineers and Enbridge gas workers were called to the scene on Tuesday. The Ohio State Fire Marshal is leading the investigation.